Okay. So today we'll be talking about Udine's case. So Udine is a mortal water spirit, so it's a stupid name. And according to the, the folklore, um, she falls in love and she marries a man, she, she turns into a human. And unfortunately, she discovers that her husband had been unfaithful to her and he cheats on her. So then she uses her supernatural powers to set a curse upon him. So some versions of the story says that, you know, she got the king to set the curse on him. Some says she set the curse on him. But nonetheless, he um, he's doomed to a life where he retains the ability to breathe, but only when he's awake. So when he goes to sleep, he uses his ability to breathe, control his breathing. So once afflicted by Odin's case, the victim cannot breathe if he falls asleep and therefore must choose between sleeping and remaining alive. So what does any of this have to do with medicine? So the term was coined in medical literature in 1962, and it was first used to describe um, a group of patients who developed problems with breathing during their sleep these patients had high spiral injuries. And what it is being used to do is, is describe the failure of respiration center automaticity. Um, nowadays, it's more commonly associated with congenital uh, central hyperventilation syndrome. But if you look through the literature, we can see it uh, being used to describe several neurological disorders from isolated respiratory dysfunction to complete brainstem injury, um, central alveolar hyperventilation syndrome, and failure of autonomic ventilation and central sleep apnea. So just a bit of a reminder about uh, autonomic respiration. So as we can see in the picture here, um, so it, this depends on feedback mechanisms related to levels of carbon dioxide and oxygen, as well as the pH of blood and CSF. So it's regulated in two areas, situated in the medulla and then one in the pons. So we have the dorsal respiratory group, which consists of inspiratory neurons near the solitary nuclei of the medulla, and then the ventral respiratory group, which is a column of inspiratory, expiratory, and rhythm-generating neurons extending from the cervical cord, C1, to below the facial nuclei. Then there's the parabrachial, or the collicular fuse complex, which is located in the dorsolateral upper pond, and that controls switching between inspiration and expiration. Yeah. And just lastly, congenital central hyperventilation syndrome. So this is due to a mutation in the PHOX2B gene, and it causes sleep-dependent hyperventilation, progressive hypercapnia, and hypoxemia while asleep. Generalized dysfunction of the autonomic nervous system, including cardiovascular and ophthalmic regulation. So interestingly, 20% of cases is also associated with Hirsch-Brown's disease, um, that's called Hydat syndrome. And then 5%, 5 to 10% of cases also associated with neural crest tumors. Uh, of note, there's um, a famous short film called Our Curse, which was nominated for Oscar in 2013. It's about a child with Bonin's case. <laughs> 